Hey guys, welcome back to the Rooted in Jesus podcast. I am Sheridan, your host. Nice to have you listening or watching today. If you guys notice, my voice sounds a little weird. It's because allergy season is upon us and I've been outside and stuff, had the windows open and my allergies are crazy. So that is why I sound a little different. I have a chill podcast episode for you guys today. Some of you guys may be sad. Some of you guys may be like, no, please don't take a break. But I'm going to be real honest and open about why I'm taking this break off of YouTube and podcasting. But I hope you guys understand and I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible And there's going to be a little part where I share some scripture with y'all and kind of tell you the reasoning why I'm doing what I'm doing. But anyways, I guess we'll get on into the podcast episode. So I'm just going to be real and honest in this podcast episode about why I'm taking a break. But I decided to take a break a few weeks ago. It's been on my heart for a while where God has been telling me, hey, you need to stop, you need to slow down, you need to take a break. But I felt like I was getting into the groove of YouTube, and when you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, everybody tells you consistency, consistency, consistency. But I'd rather listen to God in the Holy Spirit and follow what He's calling me to do than keep on making videos just because I love YouTube. I'm not taking a break because I'm uninspired or out of ideas or in a bad mental health spot. That is not the reason why I'm taking a break at all. The reason why I'm taking a break is I've been realizing that my quiet time has not been as fruitful and as deep as it could be. And also there's things in my life that I've been putting on the back burner and not doing because of YouTube and social media stuff. And also just realizing using my time wisely. And doing these videos in these podcast episodes are beneficial. And I know that the things that I speak encourage you in the Lord. And I'm doing this for God's glory. And I know that. And I know that he wants me to continue to make videos and podcasts and do all the things that I'm doing currently for him. But I also realize that in order for me to be able to pour out, I need to have a full cup. I need to be spending time in the word and more time in the word than I am producing content and videos and get my priorities straight in all honesty. That's just kind of my thought process on it. I'm going to read you a scripture in the Bible. This scripture really spoke to me. And this scripture made me see, hey, wow, you need to stop. You need to take a break. You need to seek God with all that you are and I don't want to just seek God with all that I am on this break just so I can pour out more no I want to know God deeper I want to hunger for his word and thirst for his word more and more and I want to be growing and I want to build good spiritual habits and good habits in my life so that when I do come back I will have more of a plan, and I'll kind of not overwork myself on videos and podcasts and stuff of that nature. But anyways, going back to scripture, in Luke 10, verses 38 through 40, it says, Now it happened when they entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet. And she heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving. 
And she approached him and said, Lord, do you care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, and it will not be taken away from her. So, with this scripture, that hits home. We need to sit at the feet of Jesus. I need to sit at the feet of Jesus. I need to put Jesus back on the number one spot and not to choose social media or anything else above God because I got into a bad habit of checking social media first thing in the morning and I just fell back into that bad habit I had you know I had been doing good for a while not checking social media first thing and getting into my bible but I don't know what happened And my priorities just got all jumbled and not good at all. So with this break, I'm going to take time to sit at the feet of Jesus. I'm also going to take time to read Christian books because that's something that I never make time for. I also want to spend time on musical instruments like I play bass, I play ukulele, I play guitar and sing, as some of you guys may know or may not know, I don't know, but I want to learn more worship songs and just play bass and ukulele because I don't play those very much at all, and I just want to use the gifts that God has given me and to just play instruments and stuff because I have not done that enough. And there's also a lot of things that I want to do around my house, uh, more family time, just there's just more things that I want to do and get in order. I've really neglected like fitness the past few weeks and I'm just now getting into it. I worked out a couple of days this week and it was really nice and really good and our bodies is a temple of the Holy Ghost and we have to fuel our bodies well yes we can have treats and things every once in a while and every now and then but I don't need to neglect my body like I have been and I need to introduce healthy habits back into my diet and also start exercising more so that's kind of why I decided to take a little break from social media and I'm not going to be completely gone okay And to my break, what God has kind of put on my heart is at least two weeks off of YouTube. And he's not really gave me a clear direction on what exactly to do with like Instagram and like Facebook and all those other social media things. But as for YouTube, he's told me two weeks at least so it may be two weeks or a month I don't know but I want to be obedient to the Lord above all and I want to stop trying to substitute other things for the word of God because we can put influencers Christian influencers and watch their videos and say okay I spent time learning about God through a video but not really spend intentional time in the word or we can listen to podcasts or we can do super quick devotionals which devotionals are good I have nothing against devotionals but we can just you know settle we can settle for like a quick snack and not really feast on the word of God and spend that intentional time in the word of God But I hope that as I'm taking a break, you will find other people that are speaking truth on YouTube. There's plenty of people out there in the YouTube world that are speaking truth and using their platforms for God's glory. And you can also go back and listen to any podcast episodes from me that you have missed. But 
I encourage y'all that you would dig deeper into the word of God as well. And I just encourage you, this is the whole thing of this podcast. It is to encourage young people to grow in their walk with the Lord and to dig deeper into the word. And as I take this at least two week break, I encourage you to dig into scripture, just like I am going to be digging into scripture and to spend intentional time with God and don't settle for less. Don't settle for these little snacks here and there, but feast on the word of God and spend that time and sit at the father's feet because he wants to know you deeper. And that's what I've seen. And I want to know him deeper. I want to grow in him. I want to do my best to live the holy life and the holy calling that he has set up for me. And I want to do my best to steward my time well. And also, I don't want to just be coming on here and doing podcasts just to be doing them. I want to be teaching y'all truth. And I want to be encouraging y'all to further your walk with the Lord. And for me to continue to do that, I have to take this time and further my walk with the Lord. Not only so I can pour into you, but I want to know God deeper. I want to walk with him closer. And I hope you do too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast episode. If you did, Rate it on the podcast app, like and subscribe, comment below if you are on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in a few weeks, Lord willing. But I love you guys, seek Jesus with all you are, and dig deeper and sit at his feet. Bye guys.